Hello everyone. Now we're getting to the highlight of the crystal series. The new crystal gear lever. So we're going to show how this is installed on this uh, center panel assembly which is from a 2019 or 2023-30i. We'll take a look at what it looks like here. Here are the instructions, warranty and inspection. Note the, the warning text here. So before doing this installation, you have to disconnect the vehicle battery. Uh, you start taking off the negative wire and then the positive. And when you reassemble, you do it in reverse order. Let's see what it looks like. So there we have it. Beautiful, isn't it? So we'll put that aside for now. So the kit consists of the gear lever itself. The back side of the gear lever. Let's take that out. Two screws, small, and a tool. But let's start disassembling the old gear lever first. Turn this around so you can see it better. With the um, multimedia controller knob, there was a blue tool that was provided. If you already have purchased that product, then you have this tool. Otherwise, find something similar. Plastic, not metal. Insert it here. And try to pry, pry off the back side here. To do it in different places here. That's off. And you can see the back side of uh, the gear lever here. So the next step is to remove the cable that you see running here. The cable has a lock. This is black thing. You can flip this up with your nail. There we go. And then take a small screwdriver and carefully lift this so it detaches from the lock. There you go. Under there, there's a screw that you can see. And that screw we need to loosen and remove to remove the gear lever. The screw uh, is either a T8 Torx screw or a T10 torque screw. It depends on where um, where the product was manufactured. This is a T10. So insert it here and then we unscrew it. It's a good idea to put a piece of cloth under here so the screw doesn't fall in uh, into the device. Now we just screw it out. There it goes. Okay. Now we can just pull up the old gear lever, it comes off very easy. Right, so that was that step. Now we bring out the, the small screws here. So we open this little Ziploc bag. Mm. 
the screws are tiny so make sure you don't lose them that's one and that's two place a piece of cloth to protect your panel here and then take one of the screws doesn't matter which one and put the tool in so you have the, the tool like that then you gotta hold down the uh, cable here and make sure this screw doesn't fall down because then you're in trouble let me get the screw here and then you gotta screw it in carefully on here okay it's starting to go now it's tight here but it's going in So you screw it in all the way until it's not sticking out anymore. Right. I'll fasten it a little bit more. Okay, it's in the bottom there now, so that's that's good. All right. So the next step is to take the new gear lever and put that in place. Push it down here. The cable needs to be on the outside there. It needs to go down all the way so it's flush here. All the way down there like that then we're gonna in, put in the other screw here to tighten things up so same procedure here make sure not don't lose the screw because it's very small so I have it here. And you need to hold down the ribbon cable here. So that's out of the way. And then get the screw in. There we go. And as before it's tight, but it it's just just about possible to get it in there. If you hold it, hold it down so, so the gear lever doesn't hop up. Same thing here, you need to screw this, the screw completely in. It's getting tighter now. Do the last bit of tightening here. Call from 
Never mind the phone call. Little bit more in. There we go. Yep, that's good. All right. Now you want to reinsert the ribbon cable where it was. Uh, flip the lock up like that, and then gently put the cable back in. to come in so the lock can fasten the cable. We're gonna get a good grip on it here. It appears that the cable is a little bit short it needs to be pulled out a little bit. So I'll stop the video now and we will continue when I have the cable of the right length.